Google's Chrome OS Flex does not support Google Play Store or Android. So let us see how we can switch from Chrome OS Flex to Chrome OS. First we will download a Linux distro and I have chosen Peppermint OS because it's lightweight and minimal. So download according to your system 32-bit or 64-bit. Now we will download a tool to create the bootable pen drive. So go to the extension web store and search for Chromebook recovery utility. Many of you must be familiar with it. And on the right side click on the gear icon and choose local media. But it will not show the Peppermint OS. So we need to go to the file manager and rename the file. and add dot bin at the end and now you can see it has appeared so just click and select it now choose a pen drive so you can use pen drive above 8 GB then we will start the creation process it will take some time and once it's finished we will go to the boot menu of our system so you can use the boot menu key then we will select our pen drive and then just choose the first option of Peppermint OS. Now here we will start the installation process so click on the install Peppermint OS and also connect to the Wi-Fi or Ethernet. So we will do the basic settings and here you need to select erase disk and then just select your hard drive or SSD whatever so for me it is this one and it is 931 GB then you can just create your username or password and then you can just start the installation process and after it is done we can just simply restart and you will see this screen and we will just click on install a web browser and from this window we will select Firefox so this OS does not come pre-installed with a web browser so we need to in install it additionally and once it has installed we can launch it from the app launcher visit this link which is in the description and uh, you need to read the requirements as there are certain limitations uh, certain older processors are not supported for Chrome OS and we also need to disable the secure boot so you can use the BIOS key now we will download the Chrome OS recovery file and it is different for different processor and generation so from a Ryzen I'm going to download the Zork and right now it is going to redirect you to another website and here I'm going to search for Zork and just download the latest version I'm going to use the first link And after that we will download the branch file which is the main component so download the latest file and you can see both the version are same for chrome os and the branch 103 and now after downloading the files create a folder named chrome os and in here you need to right click and open the terminal and we will copy this command to install some necessary uh, like tools so just paste and run this command it's also going to update the binaries now using that tool we will first unzip the branch file so copy this command but we're going to edit the branch file name with the file that we downloaded So right click rename and then select the entire file name and we will just paste and run the command and this is going to unzip the branch file name you can see there are some new files that has been extracted now similarly we will also unzip the chrome os recovery file so copy the name 
and then edit the chrome os file name with the downloaded file now it is going to extract it and if you have mbr or legacy device you can also download this patch and then just extract it like we did before now we are going to install the chrome os files so um, just copy this command and we need to edit the chrome os file name with the bin file that we have extracted so if you go to your folder you will see a new file it is the dot bin file so just copy all the name and paste it here and it's going to start the like uh, creating the image file from chrome os and this process is going to take a long time and now it is done and you can see we have a new chrome os.img file this is the file we will use to create a bootable pen drive so for this we will use a tool called balina hr so install it from this link and it is going to be a zip file so we will extract it and then double click on the program now from this menu we will select our file to so select the chrome os.img file And then select your pen drive now we can start the flashing process so we need to authenticate first and this also will take a long time and once it is done uh, we will go to our boot menu then select the pen drive and uh, then we will select the chrome os and now the branch will start creating some files and this process also can take a long time and finally you will see your logo and the setup screen but this is not for our installation we need to do some further installing so just quickly set it up and in the home we need to go to the chrome browser and we will visit the same link and now we need to open our terminal so we will press the control alt plus t and now we will type here shell i need to run some commands so we're going to copy this command and this will list all the partitions so we need to choose the highest like uh, the storage so for me it is the SDA with the 931 GB similarly you can find sure it's going to be same as we did for the peppermint OS so I'm going to use the SDA so you can see this is uh, there is another command so just copy it and we need to replace the disk with the partition name so for me it is SDA now just type yes for confirmation and now it has started the actual installation on our primary partition so it's going to take a while and now it is done and we can restart our computer and then set it up so now I have set it up and you can see the Google Play Store so that was how you can move from Chrome OS Flex to the Chrome OS and use the Google Play Store and Android. Uh, I hope you like this video and do not forget to hit the like to show appreciation. 
and I will see you in the next one.